Vic Vance reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> relax, relax. Are you well? Yes, thank you, Sergeant. Good. In here, you can call me Jerry. Okay. Okay, Jerry, huh? <laughs> now, Vic, tell me, why did you sign up, huh? To stay out of jail because you like getting shouted at, huh? What makes you polish your boots and put bullets in your guns in the hopes that maybe you get to shoot someone, huh? <laughs> I got a difficult family. I got responsibilities. What? Kids uh, abroad giving you shit, huh? <clears throat> no. Brothers, uh, one is real sick, asthma, and I gotta pay the bills. The other, well, maybe he's sick too, but in a different way. My mom's a mess. So you joined the army to get rich? Not exactly, but, you know, my dad, he came here from DR. We didn't have a lot of opportunities. You know, what else was I supposed to do? Why did you join up? To get rich! Why, why are you messing with me, Sergeant? I ain't. Chill. Relax. Take a seat. Look, Vic, there are plenty of opportunities for a man who knows the game to make real money. So... I don't want any trouble, man. Who wants trouble? Nobody. Everybody wants to relax. No trouble. And there's plenty of money to be made. Nice and easy. Listen, I don't think this is for me. So if there's nothing else... Hey, relax, huh? Come on, Vic. I need a favor. No risk. So why do you need me if there's no risk? Because I gotta take registration. Besides, you're not on duty for a couple of days. Listen, you take my bike, you go over to the airport, and you pick up a package for me, huh? Okay. Just this one favor, and that's it. Good. Listen, if plans change, I'll let you know. What's this? It's a pager, tough guy. Welcome to the 80s, Vic. boy. Jerry sent you. Say, Jerry? Uh, Sergeant Martinez. Sure. <laughs> uh, come with me, soldier. I've got something for your boss. Man, life's been good to you. <laughs> come on, let's take a ride. Here's Jerry's stuff. Tell him my cut goes up next time. Vice City's getting too peligroso for us freelancers. Speaking of which, we've got company. Grab that gun and take them out. Ah! Ah! Abandoned ship!
by GMO! Sure. No, no worries. Oh, look, I gotta go. The cavalry just turned up. Okay. Bye. Corporal, what can I do for you? Listen, Jerry, you gotta get rid of that stuff. It's making me nervous. I'm not into drugs, and Chill I don't... Chill the fuck out, my friend. You're really getting on my nerves. Besides, who are you gonna get in trouble with? I'm your superior officer, and you told me you needed the money. I do need the money. Uh-huh. But you don't like drugs. I don't think they're a good scene. Me neither. But you like guns, huh? They don't give you a moral problem, I mean. No. Good. Because I know a guy who can sell all the guns we can get him, which is, trust me, quite a lot. I don't know, Sergeant. This is getting heavy. You'll make a whole pile of cash for nothing. Buy that sick brother of yours a whole lot of candy. What do I have to do? <clears throat> Nothing. Just go and pick up the money from him. He's down over by the docks. <clears throat> hey, Vic. You want some of this, huh? <laughs> Must be Vic. Jerry told me about you. Hey, I used to be in the service. Yeah, listen. He said you'd have some money for me. Sure, sure. Well, I ain't a bank. I don't have it on me. But I'll take you to it.
I've been having trouble with them cholo boys. Some of them have What the hell is a cholo? Bunch of Mexican gangbangers, bad boys, trying to take over all the gun running in town. Look, where's the money, Phil? Yeah, well, funny thing, you see, it's like this. It's under the floorboards of my old place. But the cholo evicted me, and now I can't get to it. I'll get to it. See you around. I'm gonna kick your ass! This is your fault, man! You should've joined up I'll see you like a... You fucking with the mouth! Cholo kill you good, pendejo! Thank you. 